This is Mahesh Kambi and once again welcome to my channel. Before we start, I want to ensure that you have watched the how to use tool video. If not, please watch it first. I won't be spending time in how to navigate through workbook or how to see and use question banks, how to track practice progress, how to get solved your own dynamic questions, etc. So please watch that tool video before you watch this video. Another note you want to make, today's concept is part of 10th standard SSC board that is Maharashtra State Board in both English and Marathi medium. Also, it is 9th ICSC board English medium. So let's get back to learning today's math concept. Okay, today's topic is arithmetic progression. So we are going to learn how to solve arithmetic progression sums. But before that, let's get back to concepts. Okay, what is arithmetic progression? It is a sequence in which difference between any two consecutive terms is same. What does that mean? It's a sequence of numbers. And if you take any two consecutive numbers from that sequence, difference between those numbers is common or same everywhere. Right? Okay. For example, look at this example. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 4, 13. Difference is 4, which is common everywhere. So that is what is called arithmetic progression. All right. This is arithmetic of numbers. Uh, what type of questions are asked in this topic in 10th grade? The first question is, value of T1, D is given, find out nth term. Uh, right now here, I'm going to only refer to variables which I have mentioned here. Uh, but when we go and look at all the formulas, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, go through all the variables. So here, let's pay attention and pay more attention on how and what type of questions are asked. So T1 is first term. D is the difference which we talked about, which determines whether it is an arithmetic progression or not. So if T1 and D is given, then find out nth term. Now, for example, if you take the earlier series, 1, 5, 9, 13, 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, if it asks you find out 10,000th number, 10,000th number, what are you going to do? Are you going to do this 10,000 times? 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 4, 13? No. Those who know mathematics very well, those who have studied these patterns and understands the relationship between numbers, they have constructed formulas for you. So you have to use those formula and find out that nth term. So that is your first type of question. Then you have second type of question. If you look at line 6, what, is it, what does it say? If value of T1DN is given, T1 is first term, D is difference, common difference, and N is number of terms of this sequence. How many numbers are there in this sequence? If T1, D, N is given, make a sequence series and also calculate the sum of series. Sum of series meaning sum of all the numbers involved in this sequence. So that's what you have to call, calculate. So that is your second type of question. Then you have sequence and series is given and then you have to determine if it is a valid AP and if it is a valid AP then find out T1, D, N and SN. That is your third type of question. What do you mean by valid AP? We said earlier, right? What is the definition of arithmetic progression? You take any consecutive number pair, difference has to be same. So even if you find a single pair in that sequence and that difference is not matching with other numbers differences, then that is not arithmetic progression. So that is third type of question. What is fourth type of question? If value of T1, D and N is given, then make a sequence series and also calculate sum of series like earlier question and explain two properties of constructed series. There are two properties which are covered in 10th grade and those are the two properties which you have to explain uh, in this question. And what are those properties? We'll get back to when we go to actual questions and how they are solved. So right now, just pay attention to type of question. Then there is very important type of question. Mostly you will have these questions in paper and this is little bit complicated. It's not complicated, but relatively, if I have to talk about previous questions, previous questions are 
pretty straightforward they are simple you simply substitute some values in formula and calculate here you have to use some trick so these type of question there are either three or four or five number series is given and certain observations are shown to you and based on those observations you have to calculate uh you have to find out these numbers of this series and what are those uh, observations and how that is done that i will show you in exam uh, in the questions but here you pay attention to the trick all right look at the series 3 now here trick is when you construct a series 3 here you have to assume one number called say a it's a constant right and you construct your even before you start solving the sum first assume this a and say that my series is in the middle since it is a odd number series you can put that a in the middle and the remaining numbers you can put equally divided on left and right here there are three numbers one number you have used a and right hand side one number left hand side one number now you know what is the definition of arithmetic progression common difference is d so left hand side has to be a minus d and right hand side number has to be a plus d so if you write this number in such a way what happens why this number has to be written this way if you look at it now if you written it this way if you add all the three terms that is sum of this series if you do then you get a minus d plus a is 2a minus d then a plus d if you add it is 3a minus d plus d get knocked off and you left with 3a so if total of this series is given the sum is given then you can easily find out variable a because total is 3a 3a is equal to given sum sum divided by 3 is your a and once you found a there will be another observation which is given using that observation you can calculate d so first observation is sum you calculate a second observation is um, some kind of a product of first term second term second term third term and so on if that observation is given then you can find out d how i will show you in exam uh, in examples okay then you have five consecutive term exact same funda which we have used in th uh, the previous one only difference is here there are five numbers so what is the middle of five it's three so your term number 3 becomes a and left hand side you keep subtracting d right hand side you keep subtracting uh, keep adding d so this is the way you make your series so in this case once you write middle number on left hand two numbers on right hand two numbers right hand two numbers how will you derive a a plus d a plus 2d left hand side a minus d a minus 2d so this is the way you will construct five uh, consecutive terms if you add all of them same thing the sum is 5a a minus 2d a plus 2d 2d gets knocked off a minus d a plus d d get knocked off all a's five a's are remaining sum is 5a a is equal to total sum divided by 5 fantastic now let's get back to four term this is a little bit tricky this is even number right so there is no center so here the trick is pay attention the second number you write it as a minus d and the difference between two terms is not single d consider it as 2d see what happens now since this is a second number on left hand side there is only one number left a minus d minus 2d it's a minus 3d a minus d plus 2d on right hand side it is a plus d and a plus d plus 2d is a plus 3d so the trick here is your second term is a minus d and the difference is 2d right okay all right now if you see here same funda if you add all these four a minus 3d a plus 3d 3d get knocked off a minus d a plus d d get knocked off 4a so sum of this series is 4a so if that sum is given you can find out a sum divided by 4 and then other observation will be given a plus d into a plus 3d or a minus d into a plus d that is t2 into t3 so and so you 
you replace A and that product and then find out D. So that is the trick uh, with this concept. So enough about concepts. Uh, here I don't have anything more to explain but just understand these are the types of the questions uh, you get and straight away we will go to questions now. Okay, now let's take a look at formulae. All right, where are the formulae? Okay, these are all your formulas. Okay, okay, I hope they are readable. Um, okay, what is n? I told you, n is equal to total terms, total number of numbers in given sequence. T1, obviously first term, T2, second term, Tn, nth term. And then there is a TLA or it is a nth term or you can say it is the last term of um, given uh, series. What is the formula? If the remember there was a question which says find out the nth term. It's pretty simple because uh, you know that in arithmetic progression every, sec uh, every consecutive number has difference D. So technically speaking in first term you add that many d's. So if your total terms are 10, then after t1, which is first term, how many numbers are remaining? 9, which is 10 minus 1. So 10 minus 1 d's, you add it into t1. That is the reason the last term formula is tn is equal to or t last is equal to t1 plus n minus 1 into d. n is total number of the sequence. Okay, then sum of all numbers. Here, let's not get into derivation of this formula. Simply memorize it by heart. It right now. Let's not make our life complicated. This is the only formula you will you will have to memorize. What is the formula? Sum of the all terms or sum of the series, sum of the sequence is n by two into bracket two t one plus n minus one into d. Right, which you can rewrite as T1 plus T1 plus n minus 1 into D. But you have seen earlier that T1 plus n minus 1 into D is nothing but your nth term or last term. So the same formula can be rewritten as n by 2 into bracket T1 plus Tn. So I think if you remember this formula n by 2 into bracket T1 plus Tn, it is pretty easy to remember Tn is equal to T1 plus n minus 1 into D. So using this, you can construct Sn is equal to n by 2 into bracket to T1 plus n minus 1 into D. So that is your uh, Sn. Okay, what is D? D is the difference between two consecutive terms. Then from Sn, D has been derived and it is calculated as 2, 2 Sn minus 2 T1 uh, slash n by n minus 1. All right, or same way you can find out D is equal to second term minus previous term or the first term or t3 minus t2 or t5 minus t4 or t6 minus t5 or tn minus tn minus 1 uh, something like that so that is your d then you have all those other sums 3 4 or 5 series sums there you have to assume a variable a and i told you the reason why you have to assume that variable a and how to write those series as so three sequence term a minus d a a plus d so obviously here t2 second term is a third term is a plus d and first term is a minus d and i explained you a is equal to sn minus 3 because if you add all the terms it is 3 a so that is the reason a is equal to sn minus 3 okay now if you know a then there will be another observation given product of all the terms is so and so now, what is the product of all the terms? T1, T2, T3. So, if you look at it, it is A into A minus D into A plus D. A minus D into A plus D is A square minus D square. So, A into bracket A square minus D square is nothing but T1 into T2 into 3. So, now if you know A and if, if they have given this observation that product T1, T2, T3 is so and so, you can calculate D square. So, these are those formulas. So, I am not going to get into too much about these formulas anymore. Take a look at it. These are your all different series. Uh, series of 3, all the formulas involved, d is equal to square root of a square minus t1 into t3. Then uh, you have series 5 and I believe there is one more. Okay. And then there are some formulas associated with 
properties where Sn is equal to Sn plus N into K. But let's not get into that formula here. When we get back to properties, we will uh, talk about that formula. So these are your formulas. Now let's take a look at all the questions. All right. How to look at the questions? So these are all questions. So far, I don't know. Oh, so far, 70 questions are there for you to study. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think there are any board questions I see here. I will include them in my December release before your exams. So you should be getting board exam, board papers also in this spreadsheet. Don't forget to download this spreadsheet. Okay. Now I told you there are so many different types of questions, right? So let's take MS. This is, this is my uh, question type. I have made it up. So MS is for a particular question type, what it is. Let's take a look at it. Let's take first one. All right. What do you see here? It says value of T1, D, N is given. Make a sequence series and also calculate sum of series. Pretty straightforward. SN's formula use and construct it. So T1, T1 first term is 1. N is 6. D is 2. What are the answers? Okay, these are your answers. It has it has calculated total 36 and it has constructed a series 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Right? Because first term is 1 and common difference it calculated 2. So 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 6 terms. All right. Let's look at the steps. Okay. Pretty straightforward, right? This is, these are the simplest sums. I don't see any reason why would you lose a mark here uh, in your exam. T1 is equal to 1, D is equal to 2, N is equal to 6 given. Essence formula is N by 2 into bracket 2, T1 plus N minus 1 into D. Replaced it. It found out 36. So sum is calculated. D is known. First term is known. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 9. It has constructed the series. Fantastic. So this is the way this type of question is handled. In this, I want to show you a different one. Okay, let's take this fifth one. All right. Okay. This is for that first question type. What is given here? D is 5, N is 12, and T1 is 4. So, how it has calculated nth term, that is 12th term, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at expand steps. Okay. T1 is given, D is given 12, SN it is calculated 378. TN the last term is 12th term T12. So how it has calculated? It has used formula T1 plus N minus 1 into D. T1 is 4. N is 12. D is 5. 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 5 is a 55 plus 4 59. Your last term is 59. 4 9 14 19. 4 plus 5 9. 9 plus 5 14 etc etc. I know that total is right. 378. You keep doing it. Right? So this is your MS type. Okay. Then let's look at sequence type. What are those? What didn't I tell you? What are those sequence types? Those sequence types are sequence of a series is given. Determine if it is valid AP. If yes, then find out T1, D, N, and SN. So now here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So how many six terms are given? So N is 6. If you see 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1. Common difference is 1, so D is 1. And SN is equal to 21. Right? Okay. And now, if you look at the steps, I don't think there is much to show you in terms of a step. It has straight away used D, and then it calculated SN, and then it has shown you series. So this is your sequence. But what is important in this sequence? You might get a question which says, you find out whether this uh, series is arithmetic progression or not. Let's take all the uh, let's take a look at all the questions. Maybe four or five are there. Okay, ninth one is valid one. Uh, that's the reason it has constructed the series because it is arithmetic progression. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's look at ninth question. All right, this is the series. Look at it. 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. Here it is 9. So difference 9 minus 5 is not equal to difference 1, uh, which is there in all other pairs of the numbers. So that is the reason this is not an arithmetic progression. And if it is not an arithmetic progression, 
you don't have to solve anything so that is your sequence all right now let's go back to properties pr what is property all right now let's take a look at it before that let's understand what are those properties okay what is the property the first property states when all the terms are multiplied by real number constant k difference between new terms becomes k into d and sum of the new series is equal to old sum into given constant that means if you multiply all the numbers of a given series by k and create a new series the difference between two numbers of that new series is k into d and sum is equal to old sum into k old series is sum into k how we will show you in a solved sum okay what is the second property second property is when real number k is added to all the terms difference between terms remains same and sum new series as sum is equal to old sum plus n into k it is obvious right what we are saying is i am adding k into all terms that means that many k's i am adding if i have five terms i am adding five k's so obviously in your total in your previous total you will add 5 k's or n into k and that is the way your new sum is old sum plus n into k so let's take a look at actual example now okay is there an example all right take a look at this one okay what does it say the d is 7 n is 8 and it says to prove your first uh, pro uh, to prove your second property your addition is 5 that means you will be adding constant 5 and uh, also for multiplication uh, property you use 5 so value of k in both the cases is 5 so let's take a look at actual sum how it has solved or before that let's take a look at answer in this case this is given this is the series it has calculated and then addition of 5 it calculated new series it calculated new sum multiplication of 5 it has calculated sum it has calculated new series right now let's take a look at steps okay t1 first term is 6 d is equal to 7 n is equal to 8 sn calculated using sn formula done deal now the series is 6 d is calculated d is 7 First term is six, so six plus seven, thirteen, thirteen plus seven, twenty, twenty, twenty-seven, seventy-seven plus seven, thirty-four, and so on. Now, in this series, if you add five, six plus five, eleven, thirteen plus five, eighteen, twenty plus five, twenty-five, twenty-seven plus five, thirty-two, and so on. So you got a new series. So now, what does it say? Because you added that many fives that many times, since n is equal to eight, you add five. Eight times, so obviously total is equal to two forty four plus eight into five forty, which is two eighty four. I know that total is correct. You keep doing the total. All right. Then same way, if you multiply by five, six multiplied by five uh, is thirty. Thirteen fives are sixty five. Twenty fives are hundred. Twenty seven fives are one thirty five. Thirty four fives are one seventy. So that is the series it has constructed. Total is equal to two forty four into five. S n is equal to twelve twenty. I know that sum is correct. Uh, you can check yourself. Let's take a smaller example so you can prove. Uh, so we can prove it right away here and here. Uh, okay, let's take this simple example for property. Okay, let's take a look at expand steps. All right, t one is equal to two. D is equal to two. N is equal to three. S n is twelve using this formula. Uh, series is equal to two four six six plus four ten ten plus two twelve. Sum is correct. Then we added five two plus five seven four plus five nine six plus five eleven, which is eleven plus nine twenty twenty plus seven twenty seven. S n is twenty seven. How it calculated? Twelve plus three into five five three is a fifteen plus twelve twenty seven. It's proved right. S n is equal to S n plus n into k. Same way two multiplied by here they are saying okay multiplied by ten. So We multiplied by ten. Two into ten, twenty. Four into ten, forty. Six into ten, sixty. S n is equal to twelve into ten, which is one twenty. 
I know that is correct. 60 plus 40, 100, 100 plus 20, 20. Both the properties are proved, right? So this is the way you have to solve property sum and maybe state the property. So memorize them, uh, memorize those properties. All right, let's take a break here now before we go to those uh, three, four, five uh, series types. Uh, just learn some art. Uh, one of my friend, our family friend, Vrinda, I think her pronunciation is Vrinda, but anyway, I may be wrong. So learn how she is showing you how to make dot mandala. For this, I am using MDF box. Now I'll coat it with black acrylic color as my base color. You can choose any color you want. Now I am marking the center by joining corner of the box. I have created a freehand design. Likewise you can create your own design or use any stencil or pattern available in the market. These are some of the patterns and stencils commonly used for mandala art. As tools, I am using earbud, toothpick, brush, pencil. Firstly, I am drawing a dot in the center with the base of the pencil. Then, small dots I am drawing with the help of tip of the pencil. Then, in between the red dots, I drew red, white dots. As my design progresses, I increase the size of the dot with the help of the earbud. I have removed excess cotton from the earbud and applied Fevicol to seal it. Other side also, I applied Fevicol so that the cotton does not come out. You can see they give me different size of dots from smaller to bigger for bigger base i am using bigger base brush around the bigger dots i am using toothpick just dip in color and continue drawing with the same tip you will get bigger to smaller dots For border, I am using thin brush base for white dots and for red dots, I am using toothpick. How beautiful it looks when it is completed. These are some of my other products with different patterns and designs and color combinations. Coasters, boxes, spoons, tissue holders. For further details, connect to me through my FB page, Food and Art by Vrinda. Thank you for watching my video. Amazing, amazing. That was fantastic artwork. Uh, anyway, let's get back to our teaching session. Now we will look at all those uh, three consecutive term, four consecutive term and five consecutive term. Uh, construction. Uh, let's take the first example. Uh, it's 14. Okay. What does it say? Okay. Construct three consecutive terms by finding A, D and then find S, N. I had shown you those formulas, how those formulas are constructed, everything I had shown you. Let's take a uh, look at the sum. Now here what they have given? Uh, let me headings. Okay. Uh, take a look at E, row number 5, uh, 27. Uh, the sum is given. 27 in this case, right? And the, and the product of all the three terms T1 into T2 into T3 is equal to 504 is given. So basically they have mentioned that this is uh, three consecutive term 
series and sum of these three consecutive terms is 27 and multiplication or the product of all the three terms is 504. So how will you do? How will you solve, the, solve it? Before that, let's take a look at it. What answers this guy has solved? Okay, what it has done is based on 27 and 504, it identified that A is equal to 9 and then it uh, calculated D is equal to 5. This is a three term uh, sequence. So obviously N is equal to 3, SN is equal to 27 and then it found the series 4, 9, 14. Uh, sum is 27, 14 plus 9, 23 plus 4, 27. Perfect. So it has solved correctly. Let's take a look at steps. What did it do? Okay, n is equal to 3 is given because this is 3 uh, terms. Sn is equal to 27 given. P1 is equal to 504. P1 is nothing but T1, T2, T3. Uh, I think I should correct that labeling. Um, anyway, so those things are given. So it calculated A is equal to 27 divided by 3. A is equal to 9. And then since it is a product of all the 3 and this is a minus D, A, A plus D series, uh, the formula uh, it constra used is D is equal to square root of A square minus T1 into T2 into T3 divided by A. So that is the reason 9 nines are 81, 504 minus 9, whatever that it is, 81 minus that whatever is 25. Square root of 25 is 5, so D is equal to 5. Superb. So it calculated the D and then uh, it calculated SN and Sn is equal to 27 and the series is the middle term is A, A is 9 and left hand side is 9 minus D. So 9 minus 5 is 4 and right hand side is 9 plus 5, 14. I think I should show that A minus D comma A, A plus D here uh, just for clarity purpose. But you know the formulas, refer to formula time being, I will correct it uh, next time. All right. So this is simple formula application and what you need to remember is how those formulas are constructed and why you have to write A in the middle as I explained earlier and left hand side you start subtracting these, right hand side you start adding these. In case of even number that is 4, right hand side you start adding 2D, left hand side you start subtracting 3D, uh, sorry 2D. And this is the way you constructed that formula. Let's take a look at some more. Now this is T1, T2, T3 was given. Now let's take a look at second sum. Okay. In this case, what it says? T2 into T3 is equal to 56. So what is our... Oh, this is T1 into T3. Okay. So T1 is A minus D and T3 is A plus D. So A plus D into A minus D is A square minus D square. SN is given 27. So you got the answer. Uh, a is equal to uh, 9 by dividing it by 3 and then you calculate D based on T1 into T3. Let's take a look at it, how it solved it. All right. N is equal to 3, SN is equal to 27, A is equal to obviously 9, D is equal to A square minus T1 into T3 whole square. All right. So, here it is 81 minus 56, which is 25. Square root of 25, 5. D is equal to 5. Same thing. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 plus 5 is 14. So the, here sum 27 is given. And observation T1 into T3 is equal to 56 is given. Let's take a look at another example. Okay. And as I said earlier, sometimes instead of Sn, they give you 2a. They will tell you that uh, if the middle term is multiplied by 2, you get 18. So middle term is a. So always you can simply say that, okay, middle term is a. So that is the reason a is equal to 18 by 2, which is 9. So that's what it has done. So that is another type of sum. Perfect. Sn is equal to 0, 2a is equal to 18, p1 is equal to 504, a is equal to 9, 2a by rest of the stuff is same. Okay. Let's take a look at different one now. Okay. Now let's take a look at 5a and what kind of, okay. In 5a, in 5a, 
you have sum could be given or 2a could be given based on which you can calculate a and once a is calculated a product of t2 t3 4 could be given t2 into t4 could be given and t1 into t5 could be given and why is that let's take a look at our formula so we can say okay here it is see t t2 is a minus d and t4 is a plus d so t2 into t4 is a square minus d square t1 into t5 is a square minus 4dc square so this is the way they give you different observations which is nothing but a multiplication of these terms which is translated into a and d and then you can replace a and calculate d let's see how that guy has solved this sum. okay 5 sn is equal to 45 p1 is equal to 504 this is a series of 5 so a is equal to 45 by 5 which is 9 d is equal to since this is t2 into t3 into t4 which is a minus d into a into a plus d like t3 term but it is term number 2 3 and 4 unlike earlier example same way 9 square minus 56 85 minus 56 is 25 uh, square root of 25 is 5 and once you get 9 9 minus 5 is 4 and uh, 9 plus 5 is 4 and then let's take a look at t2 into t4 okay t2 into t4 is nothing but a square uh, t2 into t4 is a square minus d square so this is a multiplication of a minus d into a plus d same way it calculated a and it used this formula and then d is equal to square root of 25 okay. t1 into t5 is equal to minus 19 what is that t1 is a minus 2d into a plus d right let's take a look at it t1 is a minus 2d and t5 is a plus 2d so it is a square minus 4d square and that is the reason our answer is sn is equal to 45 p3 is equal to minus 19 a is equal to 45 by 5 is equal to 9 d is equal to 9 9 is a 49 49 minus of minus 19 divided by 4 right which is d is equal to 5 so technique is what observation they have given the technique is you have to write those terms very properly a minus d a a plus d 5 5 sequence a minus 2d a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d a plus 2d so you have to remember all that properly and accord and once you have written that correctly everything else is pretty straightforward let's take a look at four series let's take a look at one example of four series 4ap3 t1 into t4 is given minus 144 sn is equal to 36 and since it is 4 36 divided by 4 is 9 and then a square minus t1 into t4 divided by 9 so d is equal to because t1 is a minus 3d and t2 is a plus 3d that's that's the reason it is a square minus 9d square that is the reason d square is equal to a square minus t1 into t4 divided by 9 d is equal to 5 this is the way you solve all these sums i think we have covered everything all types of questions now what you can do is you can use all these examples solve yourself first and then see how computer has solved for you uh, if you know, if the sheet is installed on your uh, pc and then do your own homework fantastic so now i think oh, okay before we leave from now on i have added a special feature in it do you look at that zoom button okay what this zoom button does is uh, your screen size it can reduce if i say minus 5 it reduces by minus 5 unit look at it it reduced if i further uh, try to reduce it by minus 5 look at it it got further reduced 
The purpose of this is when I develop and design the sheet on my computer, I do it according to my screen. But sometimes your computer could be a smaller screen or a bigger screen. So what you can do is you can uh, and the sheet doesn't auto adjust. Sometimes uh, once it auto adjusts, it gets blurry. So that is the reason I have incorporated the zoom feature based on your sheet. You can reduce the size of the window and try to fit it into your screen. All right. So I think our today's concept is completed. I hope you liked it. Thank you for listening to me. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Stay tuned for next math concept sheets and the demonstration videos. Bye bye.